very good day everyone. I'm very happy to take my first interview at EFTF 2023 from my good friend, my ex-colleague and a very good and successful freight forwarder from Colombia and Ecuador, Luis Carlos Bautista. How are you doing, Luis? Very fine, thank you very much. How is your impression from this uh, flower show? The flower show is good, as actually every single year. Uh, it's the only way to see a lot of people that you're talking every single day, but you cannot meet them. And it's really important to see the people in the eye. I'm very curious, how many years already you are participating in the show? I think for the last 11 years. At least for the last 11 years. Luis, for our subscribers, can you a bit tell about yourself, about your background and what are you doing now? I'm in this business already 16 years, working with uh, freight forwarding from Colombia, the beginning. It was actually a long road to come to this point. So I was actually working with local heroes in Colombia. After that, moved to Miami to work with another agent. And, uh, came back to Colombia to work for multinationals. And uh, now doing everything by myself. I found that I was making money for the wrong people. All right. What is the name of your current company, Luis? International Flowers Cargo in Colombia and uh, EFC Ecuador. All right. So you are covering two uh, most important uh, South America countries for flowers. It's the aim, yes, of course. What is the uh, geography of your shipments? Where are you shipping now? Uh, we're shipping a lot into Holland, of course, into Netherlands. Uh, we got a lot of customers in Japan, in Australia, New Zealand, Middle East, Canada. Uh, actually, we got customers in South America and in the Caribbean islands. Europe, of course. So we are actually widespread. How you can uh, describe the market at the moment? The market depends on the country, of course, and the economical situation. So it depends. For some countries, it's really tough. And lower, actually, imports and uh, sales. For other countries, it's, I think it's the best time in the world. So it depends, of course, as how the people use all these flowers. And uh, the buying process, you know, is important. I have heard that no that now you are in the top ranking of the IATA from the Colombia. Can you share this information from us? It's like that. We are in the top five of the cargo agents in, uh, in Colombia. And I'm proud of this because we have a really nice team. Everybody's working. We're thriving actually to get everything for the customers. And uh, this is a really, really, really nice news for us. All right, and uh, can you describe me your top five destinations? Where are you shipping at the moment? Uh, number one, of course, is the Netherlands. Second one uh, could be Japan. Third one is uh, Europe, let's say, the rest of Europe. So it's Spain, France, uh, Germany. Uh, number four could be Middle East. And number five is going to be uh, Australia, New Zealand. All right. Uh, I know that you have this every and single airline very good relationship. I cannot imagine with whom not. But can you for yourself describe uh, top five airlines at the moment? Of course. My number one by far is Turkish Airlines. Number two could be Qatar. Number three is Ethiopian Airlines. Number four is uh, Air Caribbean TUI. And number five is uh, LAN, LATAM. Right. Luis, I have a question for you. Through all these years that you are working in this freight forwarding business, are you see any positive moving in, movements in the direction of the getting more digital? Or you believe that a lot of agents are still acting old-fashioned? Actually, this is a people's business, so it's really important to have the, the contact, direct contact with the customers every day. But without technology, it's going to be really difficult to keep it in a good shape. So everybody's investing now, for, of course, for more technology and software that actually are making a lot of work. 
Luis, I have a question. Uh, this is my traditional question for our viewers and for our subscribers. Why they should immediately change the current freight forwarder for you? Can you explain three it's topics? Very easy, and as the big one topic is because we are kind of a boutique cargo agency. So we are taking care of every single thing of the customers. I always was thinking that anybody can issue an RW bill from point A to point B. But before buying, the, is the moment of the booking, some, uh, the post sales is really important. You are as good as the last shipment. So that's why we're actually taking care of every single thing in the chain. And uh, two more questions. Uh, what is in your job you like very much? What is giving you the drive and the adrenaline? Uh, actually, every single thing. That's why I, I'm actually junkie of this business. So everything gives me adrenaline. Every single day is the same, but everything is different. What you don't like in the freight forwarding flower business, what you would change to make it uh, from negative to positive? In negative to positive could be the selection and the giving away of the spaces of the airline because they're always supporting the big ones. All right, I see. Luis, thank you very much for this short interview. I will not cover the truth. We know each other for many, many years. So I'm very grateful and very proud that I can take this interview from you. I wish you to uh, reach year after year higher and higher goals and uh, targets. Take care about yourself and I hope that your business will be example to follow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, can I kiss you now? Sure. Thank you. <laughs>